Hello, and welcome to Philip Brown's Computer Networking Lab. You're watching the instructional video called Per VLAN Spamming Tree. Per VLAN Spamming Tree maintains a spamming tree instance for each VLAN configured in the network. It uses ISL trunking and allows the VLAN trunk to be forwarding for some VLANs while blocking for other VLANs. Per VLAN spamming tree treats each VLAN as a separate network. It has the ability to low balance traffic at layer 2 by forwarding some VLANs to one trunk and other VLANs to other trunks without causing a spamming tree loop. The spamming tree mode PVST command turns on per VLAN spamming tree. Cisco switches run separate spamming tree instance for each active VLAN by default. We are looking at the physical topology of four switches connected to each other. The top switches are core layer switches and the bottom switches are access layer switches. One technique used by network administrators is to divide a network into at least two VLANs and then send network traffic from one VLAN in both access layer switches to a specific core layer switch. This is used to load balance the network. This topology is also a redundant design, meaning that even if one of the links go down, Spanning Tree can design a new topology to get the packets where they needed to go. For example, this is a logical description of a physical network that we just looked at for VLAN 10. The switches in VLAN 10 are all connected by the left core switch. Packets can be sent by a computer host to the core layer and then either to the other access layer switch or route it to the internet. A logical topology of VLAN 20 is the reverse mirror image of the one we just saw. It works exactly the same way except for instead of for using the left core switch, it will use the right core switch. Since the network devices that use VLAN 10 use the left switch, and the network devices that use VLAN 20 uses the right switch. The network traffic is low balance between the links. Per VLAN spamming tree is a useful concept in making scalable redundant networks. I hope this video was informative and I thank you for viewing.